Hey guys, we're here today with Lance and we're going to go over how to fix kickflip common problems. Do you have like certain problems we're trying to fix? I just want to go over every problem that I've run into in learning the kickflip. Every problem ever? And hopefully that covers every problem that every other person is having trying to learn the kickflip. Do you think there's like three or five or? There's probably like 17. <laughs> I could think of them all. But maybe there's like four or five really Key common ones. ones. Okay, well the one that I see the most when I'm doing skate supports for people is the problem I flip down. It's tons of videos. We get tons of videos that look like this. I think this is the most trickiest problem because in your head you can be thinking, whoa, the board flipped. That's a tricky one. See, I don't think I ever ran into that one because from day one, I was learning from you and I knew that I'm not going there. Yeah, everything you could try to do was not to go there. Exactly. Let's get a good slow-mo shot of this so we can show people what is really happening there. Ready, let's see if I can get a real good one. I feel like that was a real good one. Let's review this footage. Cause you see what's happening is my foot flicks into the board, sure. Yeah, well I'm doing it. The board fully spins, yeah. Oh, landed with one foot. Great. The only problem is my foot lands on the ground before my board does. I wonder if I could do a kickflip like that. I don't see how that would be possible. Kickflip challenge. The whole key to the kickflip is flicking it and keeping both of your feet above the board. So that is the most common problem and it's, as well as being the most common problem, I personally think it's the hardest problem to fix. Well, is there hope? For most of us, yes. For all of you, yes. There is hope. I thought I was gonna have to give up right there. That was scary. I know, super scary. No, seriously though, because here's the reason why. You guys have trained yourself for probably sirens. Kickflip police. Yeah, the kickflip police coming to get you. So you guys have spent hours upon hours upon hours upon hours training your foot to do it wrong. Training your foot to go like this. As a wise Yoda once said, you must unlearn what you have learned. The only way I can think to do that is just to stand there and just practice the right way. The right way, which is drag your toe up, flick your foot. Drag your toe, flick your foot. Boom. Like even your drag, and then show me the flick. Yeah, okay. Well, I do, it, do it like in two motions. Drag, flick. Drag, flick. I had to watch a lot of slow-mo kickflips to even notice that I was doing that. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. So then, a better way to practice, and I think part of what it is, is the practice step of like, step off with your front foot. I think it sort of gets people into that problem. So let's go ahead and say, just do this one. That's how you can unlearn that. Lots and lots of tries with this. It might take you hours, it might take you days, it might take you months, it may even take you years, but probably not. If you learn all the tricks in the proper order as given with Skateboarding Made Simple Volume 1, you will get it fast. The whole point of those tricks, you always have something to practice and you'll always be progressing. But if you are just trying to go straight into kickflips and you get that down, then all you need to do from there is go like this. There, you got it. You just landed. <laughs> you forgot the pop. Pop that tail. Pop that tail, snail. Yeah, lift my back foot. Yeah, back knee, bend. Oh! First try? First try? Okay, so that's common problem number one. Common problem number one, you've just been slayed. Here's a problem I've been running into a lot lately. Yes, women, I know it. Well, that's a whole nother video. <laughs> How to get women with Lance. How to fix common problems with picking up women. <laughs> no. This is what happens. Let me see if I can just have it happen. Tell me. At the end of this video, is it Lance kickflip the three? <laughs> that's what I want to do, and I realize I need to get my kickflips on a flat better. Okay, but what are you trying to, what do you think is happening? So what happens is I do the kickflip, and I'm rolling, right? Yeah. Yeah? He does it like perfectly. I catch him with my back foot. <laughs> the board is behind me and my front foot is here. So I can't tell if I'm just flicking down. 
So he's basically saying that he does the kick flip, it lands, his back foot catches it, but the board falls behind him. Exactly. So his body goes forward. It's funny, now that he's trying to like create it to occur, he can't get it to occur. Yeah. I can tell you why that happens. Why? Is it's like an overemphasis on leaning forward. I'm leaning too far forward. Yeah, it's like if you're like this. Yeah, I mean that landed pretty much under you. Your, your weight needs to be centered. Some people, like actually some really, really incredible skaters, you can sort of see their arms go like this. And I don't even think they're aware of it. Like you see them do a nollie heel flip and they're like this. But it like, just that motion of their arms, you don't necessarily need to do that, but it centers their weight. Instead of like heavy footed like that. But you can go the exact opposite and lean back and then your foot, your board's gonna go more forward. So you're saying that keeping my weight centered is the fix? Yeah. Let me see. Kickflip 101. Try this. Lean back. Lean back. Lean so far back you feel like you're gonna slip out. Oh dang. Could have took that one up the five. Put your weight on your left foot. That's your left foot. Yes. <laughs> Pass. You know what I mean by that? Like you're always stepping on one foot. Left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot. Well, when you're riding on a skateboard, you could be concentrating on right foot, you could be concentrating on left foot. I mean, you really want it centered sort of even on both, but I want you to put the emphasis back because you're like putting it too forward. The other problem is it only goes halfway. I'm gonna point out one thing. When you're trying to do a kickflip, you could have 10 things wrong. Fix one thing at a time. Okay, so just focus on this. Yeah. And then we'll go to the common problem. Especially if you're an instructor and you're trying to teach a kid and they're like, they have, you can already see that they have like three things they're doing wrong. Don't go, hey, fix that, also fix that, also, it's too much. Fix one thing at a time. Give it a shot. Oh, first try. Well, do you feel like it's more underneath you? Yeah, it is. Okay, let me see your foot position. This is about the flick now. Common problem number three. Yeah, it's not lack of flick. Around. Lack of rotation. My foot position, I think, is right there. Okay, give me your flick. Show me. I guess when I was when I'm moving, let me try it moving. Maybe what you need to do is do a bunch not moving and then move to moving. So there, the flick was fine. Here's the thing about the flick, guys. If you want to flick slower, put your foot more on. If you want to flick faster, put your foot more off. You still have to flick and catch the board in the same place, but I'll show you an example. This would be like a slower flick. I don't know if that looked any slower. I work on fast flicks all the time, but here, and here would be a faster flick. It's like if I'm gonna go one flip and I'm gonna go into two flips, I'm gonna put my foot a little further back and not on the board a lot. Faster flick. Oh! So that time I focused on leaning a little bit further back and, and getting a good flick. So he leaned back, he got a good flick, he landed it. That was a good one too. Try to do another one? Here should be the challenge for Lance on this. We just fixed the three most common problems. I think, let's see if you can land five kickflips in a row. Five in a row. Let's start the timer on this. Oh -ho! If you land the first five, this will be the greatest Braille video in the history of Braille. Too much pressure, I knew he was gonna miss that one. The thing about Lance is he gets, he gets in his head. Should we move it to three? So because we fixed the three most common problems, he's gonna see if he can land three in a row. This is problem number four, consistence. That was scary. It's funny, I know Lance so well, and I know he's rolling up thinking like, oh man, I don't got it. Oh man, I'm getting nervous. Confidence is key, Lance. You got it, just land it. You know how to do it. Come on, Lance. So don't lean forward. You gotta break that habit. There you go. What happens is sometimes I get a perfect flick and then it goes behind me. So it's like, yeah. I kinda, to get a good flick, I lean into the board. 
Yeah, don't. In order to get a good flick, you don't have to lean into the board. You just have to flick? You have flick. It's your flick with your foot. Lean back. Come on. You could have landed that. Put that foot on. Kick flip everything. Oh! There it is. Whoop, there it is. Have you ever kick flipped off a curb? Did we make a video of you kick flipping off a curb? Maybe kick flipping off that box. My dream is to be consistent on this trick. I know. It's been how many years since I landed it? I know. You do one and then you sort of like give up. Maybe you can critique each one. We can see if we can find out exactly. No. You know how to do a kick flip. Do it every try. That's the problem. You don't need to critique each one. Number one, start the counter. Oh! Two in a row, people. If he lands this right here, this video is over. Oh! Three in a row! That was good. Yeah, that was good. You did three. You did three. Now do the three. Oh, in the same video? Yeah. That's a whole nother video. So what do we cover? We have your front foot going straight to the ground. Okay. So the handling for that, is you practice catching it with your front foot only. Good. Right. Repeatedly, guys, practice. And this practice. Way. Takes a lot of practice. So then when you're moving, and the board is always going behind you. Yes. That we figured out was your weight's too far forward. Right. So the handling for that is putting a little bit more weight on your back foot. And practice, guys, jeez. And then if the board is only flipping, flipping halfway, but you're staying over it, and we figured out that you just scoot your foot back a little bit more. With a lot of practice, everybody. I would also say, scoot your foot back a little bit more <laughs> and focus on flicking too, like yeah. into the board. Huh, huh, huh. Flick to find. Yeah. If you haven't seen that video, look it up. I guess those are the three main things, right? I guess so. Is there anything else? Uh, I think that's pretty much it. Well, one thing I want to say is you might think it's a different problem, but please video yourself, watch your own video, and look and see if it is actually one of these problems. Try what we told you, and don't try it like one time or three times or even for half an hour and say, well, it didn't work. Because it does take practice. Skateboarding is not easy. It takes work. It takes persistence. So much work. It takes yeah. focus. It takes um, not overthinking about it, but just doing it. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. Okay. Just do it, guys. Just get out there and skate and practice and practice and practice and practice and practice. And like we said, skate everywhere. Skate around, skate to your school, skate home, skate that way, that That's way. Skateboarding made simple? Yeah. It covers every basic trick. It covers it in a gradient. And the thing that is important about it is it always gives you something to practice. When you start skateboarding and you get to a step where you're like, well, I didn't learn anything today. I didn't get any better. I don't feel like I improved in any way, shape, or form. That is the worst. That's where people feel like they suck. They feel like they have to quit. They feel like they're not talented enough. And I don't want anybody to feel like that. I spent six months learning how to do an ollie. You guys definitely can learn how to ollie way, way faster. The video does work. It always gives you something to practice, so check it out. Skateboarding Made Simple is in the link below in the description. You can go to the link in the description below and get the video. It will help you. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really am curious what you guys are running into. So if you could please leave it in the comments. We really, really, really want to help you guys learn how to skate, improve in your skateboarding, and get more people skateboarding. But if we're making videos that have nothing to do with learning how to skateboard, or we're making videos that are not helping you guys learn, then we need to know what you're actually running into so we can actually help you learn to get better on your skateboard. So it's very important that you leave those comments and let us know what you're running into. Details, please, the details. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe. There is a playlist of other videos that you can watch. We've literally made hundreds of tutorials, so check it out. You guys will learn. You can learn. You can do it. We got your back. Go to the shop, get skateboarding made simple.